So hello now, let me introduce you with uh, the second Landau symbol here. And uh, this symbol is the symbol <coughs> of equivalence. And so the title of this section is equivalence. And the symbol I'm going to introduce is this sort of snake. Okay. And uh, I give you immediately the definition. The definition says... Let E be a subset of R and X bar be an accumulation point of the set E and then F, G are two functions whose domain, whose common domain is E and that have value in R. So we say that F is equivalent to G for x going to x bar, so this is the sentence, and write in symbols f equivalent to g for x going to x bar, if the limit for x going to x bar of the ratio f over g is equal to 1. Okay? And so here we have uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, equivalence that we are already able to state. The first one, very famous one, is the equivalence that says sine of x is equivalent to x for x going to 0 and cosine of x is equivalent to 1 for x going to 0 but then we can also be more specific and we know that cosine of x is equivalent to 1 minus x squared over 2 for x going to 0 and not only and uh, again the hyperbolic sign of x is equivalent to x for x going to 0 and here of course you you can prove it okay exercise prove it and e of x is equivalent to 1 for x going to 0 and analogously we can say that e of x equivalent to 1 plus x as x going to 0 of course uh, there is a sort of arbitrariness in deciding what to put here after the one every function that goes to 0 is good here but I want just to, to want just to stress the vicinity of e to the x to 1 1 plus x so how can one uh, use the, the equivalence, let, let us, in the computation of limits, so let us uh, start from uh, the same example we took in the previous video. So let us compute the limit for x going to 0 of sine of x plus x plus cosine of x minus 1 plus x to the power pi and here tangent of x plus hyperbolic cosine of x minus 1 minus x squared okay so in previous video we learned that concerning the numerator we have the sine of x plus x plus cosine of x minus 1 
plus x to the power pi is equal to 2x plus little o of x, which means that if we divide everything by 2x, we have that sine of x plus x plus cosine of x minus 1 plus x to the power pi divided by 2x is equal to 1 plus little o 1 as x goes to 0. And again, as an exercise, prove that little o of x divided by 2x is equal to little o 1. This is a simple exercise, just apply as in the example we already met, in the examples we already met, just apply the definition of little o. And uh, so, therefore, this equivalence here means that the limit for x going to 0 of sine of x plus x plus cosine of x minus 1 plus x to the power pi divided by 2x is equal to 1. Therefore, we have that sine of x plus x plus cosine of x minus 1 plus x to the power pi is equivalent to 2x. Okay? This is, again, I, I really showed you all passages, so I was at the end a bit pedantic, but the message is that once we have this equivalence here, this is immediately turned into this one. So let me just put in evidence this equivalence here and then the second here. Okay. And so now repeating the same passages here, so in a perfectly analogous way, we have that for what concerns the denominator, we obtain that the sum of tangent of x plus hyperbolic cosine of x minus 1 minus x squared, this is equivalent to x as x going to 0. So, we have that the limit for x going to 0 of sine of x plus x plus oh, cosine of x minus 1 plus x to the power pi divided by tangent of x plus hyperbolic cosine of x minus 1 minus x squared Remember that we wrote here this is equal to the limit for x going to 0 of 2x plus little o of x divided by x, little o of x. And then by the principle of negligibility, we immediately wrote that this is equal to the limit of 2x over x, which is 2. But the important thing that I want you to observe here is that here, to use the yellow, this is equivalent, this is exactly with the equivalent we just wrote here. And uh, for what concerns the 
denominator, we have that, uh, oop, sorry, we have that, this denominator here is equivalent to x. So the limit of the ratio of, so numerator, and denominator are, as a matter of fact, replaced by equivalent functions. With this, I mean that here, in this limit, at the end, through the principle of negligibility, we replaced the numerator with a function 2x that is equivalent to the numerator, and the denominator with a function x that is equivalent to the denominator. Okay, so this is what he did. So, Instead of using a principle of negligibility that just says that you can neglect the higher order terms, the leader laws in the ratio when performing the limit, we can pass to another principle, which is the principle of substitution that says you can replace denominator and numerator by equivalent functions. So... And this is the principle of substitution, which is a, another pretty famous theorem here. So theorem is the following, the principle of substitutions. that establish the following result. You have two functions, f and g. f is equivalent to f tilde, and g is equivalent to g tilde, as x tends to x bar. Then, the limit for x going to x bar of f of x divided by g of x is equal to the limit for x going to x bar of the ratio between f tilde and g tilde. The proof is uh, really elementary once uh, one already has uh, the availability of the negligibility principle. So we have here proof. And here you have that F is equivalent to F tilde if and only if by definition of equivalence f divided f tilde tends to 1 as x goes to x bar which means that f is equal sorry f divided f tilde is 1 plus a little o 1 as x goes to x bar. Again, this is equivalent to saying that f is equal to f tilde plus little o of f tilde as x goes to x bar. And here we gained the same statement, the same mathematical statement that we are using 
for the principle of negligibility. So, analogously, we have that G equivalent to G tilde as X goes to X bar means exactly that G is equal to G tilde plus little o of G tilde when X goes to X bar. Therefore, we end up with f over g is equal to f tilde plus little o of f tilde divided by g tilde plus little o of g tilde as x goes to x bar. Therefore, by the principle of negligibility, we have that the limit for x going to x bar of f of x divided by g of x is equal to the limit, again, for x going to x bar of f tilde of x divided by g tilde of x. I leave you for homework an exercise Oops, sorry that asks you to prove or disprove so establish whether the following statement is true or false so So uh, the hypothesis is f equivalent to g for x going to x bar, then is it true or not that this implies that the exponential of f is equivalent to the exponential of g again for x going to x bar so this is for homework and think of that and uh, so now we go to another important chapter but this chapter will be uh, studied in uh, in the next video <laughs>